Hello, and welcome back to Uncoin. My name is Michelle, and today we're going to talk about the IOTA migration. If you find this content helpful, do give me a thumbs up or subscribe to the channel. So the first thing I want to share with you all are these two very important dates. So you can choose to migrate during the pre-Chrysalis migration period that begins on April 21st. Or you can wait until after Chrysalis has launched on April 28th to migrate your coins. Either way, there's no rush to migrate your coins. So the migration process is actually quite simple. IOTA has made sure of that. If your tokens are on Binance or Bitpanda, this process will be done automatically and you don't have to worry about anything. However, if you're holding your coins in IOTA's Trinity wallet, these are the steps you're going to want to follow. The first thing you're going to want to do is download the Firefly app. And as per usual, this is available to download for Windows users, Mac users, or Linux users. So in step two, you have one of two options to load your existing seed into Firefly. So either import a text backup, which the left image shows, or a file backup, which is depicted on the right image. For the text backup, you enter your IOTA seed, which is 81 characters. For the file backup, you import a Trinity Seed Vault file with the extension .kdbx. After you're done importing, check your balance to make sure everything is there. After confirming your balance, you are going to create a new password for your wallet. The password protects your funds, so make it a good one. Then you're going to be asked to create a six-digit PIN for when you log in to your profile. Step 5 will ask you to create a recovery phrase, which I will cover in the next slide. It will also create a backup of your wallet to a Stronghold file when you've entered your newly created password. Within the backup process, you will be asked to write down a 24-word recovery phrase, which you will then have to immediately verify. So make sure you get it right. Once you've completed all of the previous steps, the only thing left to do is select the Begin Migration button, as this is an automated process. Once you've finished this process, just remember that your funds will become available when the Chrysalis network launches on April 28th. If you migrate after April 28th, your funds will become available after a short period of time. If you still feel confused or unsure about this migration process, either watch this video again or check out